Well, I wish I could be mad at Ashley right now, but she helped with the go for a book drive earlier today, so we'll let her slide. Happening right now, we call this our Magic of Reading book drive. Your book donations going to help children in our community who could really use them. Now, this is happening until 6 o'clock tonight outside of the Masco Corporation. That's in Livonia on College Parkway, and that's where Demond Fernandez is. Demond, you have been out there all morning long. I joined you for a brief amount of time today, but you're really putting in the extra hours and so many people coming and dropping off books. Hey, Nick, if you and the morning team thought it was busy when you guys were out here earlier, it only got more intense in the past couple of hours. I tell you this, we are now at just under 5,000 children books donated. People have been stopping by in like clockwork. They've been dropping off all kinds of children's books for students in grades K through 8. Now, this go for it. The Magic of Reading Children's Book Drive will benefit students who are active with two organizations. We're talking about Chapter One and Teach for America Detroit. Both of those organizations have been pushing literacy and the importance of reading through their organizations. Our big goal today is to fill this truck back here with as many books as possible. You see Vanessa back here, she's sorting some of the books that you guys have been dropping off. I'll tell you this. One of our community partners is Erin Pineda. She's one of the co-owners of 27th Letter Books. If you can't go to a bookstore to bring books here to this drive, don't worry about it because she's brought a pop-up store here to make sure that you can purchase books that will go right on this truck. Now, 27th Letter, you guys specialize in making sure that people have a variety of children's books and books in general to choose from. I saw your children's book collection. When you talk about variety, you guys have a unique collection. Thank you so much. Yeah, we really we want to focus on serving the neighborhood and the community that we're in. So we're in Southwest Detroit. We carry Spanish language and dual language books for kids, as well as things that help kids, you know, see themselves reflected and like that concept we talked about windows and mirrors earlier. So, yeah, yeah. you know, Aaron, uh, you brought a mini store here today, yes. a pop up location. Now, give us an idea of what types of books are popular for students in grades K through eight right now. Absolutely. Uh, Graphic novels are awesome. Uh, they kind of help fill that gap of kids that are both learning to read and it you know provides them that visual narrative to go along with learning the text as well as kids that are maybe leading a little bit more precociously above their you know grade level per se um, but you know any kind of books that you're interested in if you're excited about a topic I bet there's a kid out there that would be excited about it so and things about space things that are nonfiction, things that are spooky or horror there's a lot of kids that love like being a little scared yeah yeah and don't worry about it if you can't get to a bookstore all you have to do is come here you'll be here until two o'clock correct <laughs> purchase a book through you awesome. and it goes right on the truck right yes absolutely right. thank you so much no problem thank you Aaron and again we will be here outside the Masco Corporation headquarters it's at 17450 College Parkway it's in Livonia between six and seven mile off Haggerty again we want to fill this truck up Got a couple of messages to pass along. We're looking for new and like new children's books. Please avoid bringing any magazines, any adult themed material. And we want to give uh, new and like new books. So if you're bringing anything with uh, torn pages or any damage, unfortunately, we can't uh, take those. But we want these books to go to students across the metro area, local students who could really use these books. And uh, many of you community donors know that these books will go a long way. So, Nick, I'm going to send things back to you. We have a community member dropping off some books right here right now so uh it's going to continue and we'll be out here until six o'clock so hope to see you out here you know demand if i may pass along some insider information we actually have a second backup penske truck as well so why don't we just fill both of them we can do that too and again we will be out here ready to fill these books up again we can't stress enough uh nick that these books are going to go to students who can really use them you know talking to uh volunteers with the organizations who are going to be passing these books out they say a lot of students don't have books at home um their only access to books may be in their schools or at libraries when they go a lot of them don't have parents who will read to them so a lot of our community volunteers who've been uh, donating books are former teachers who know that these books can go a long way. And uh, students will stick around and uh, keep these books for a long time. I'm seeing some really nice themed items, uh, some popular items, those graphic novels. There's a whole box of them here I'm staring at. We've got books for all ages out here. So, uh, yeah, don't forget. 
Got somebody over here, I'm familiar with his face, dropping <laughs> off some books too. So, Nick, I'm going to send things back to you because we've got some work to do out here. All right, Damon, thank you so much. That's uh, that's Will Hooper, our uh, maintenance and facilities guy here at Channel 4. All right, let's pass along some information just in case you missed it there. Uh, the map on your screen showing you where the Mascow Corporation is. It's on College, uh, College Parkway off of Haggerty between 6 and 7 Mile. It's on the campus of Schoolcraft College. A little difficult to navigate, so just kind of make your way around those curves, and you'll find the parking lot there with the Penske truck and the Channel 4 vans as well. Again, as Damon said, we are accepting new and like new children's books that will be given to kids in kindergarten through eighth grade in schools helped by Chapter One and Teach for America. And also, as you saw, there two bookstores are helping us. If you order online at Sidetrack Books, they will deliver the books to our drive for you. And 27 letter books will also be out there selling books right on the spot. You can buy a book and load it into the truck right away.